Hello again, it is Faker coming at you with another Legends of Runeterra deck guide and I think today it is time to talk about Draven and Jinx, discard aggro for any player who may be or may not be interested in it. Now I think this deck is extremely hard to play, I was convinced for a little bit of time that it wasn't a great deck, but after checking out a few lists and some tier lists, it's sitting up there. Some might even argue it could be a tier 1 deck right now. But it is an extremely hard deck to pilot, there's lots of uh, decision making that needs to be done and snap decision making where you have to make a call how you win this game. So let me do my best to show you guys the cards, talk about the mulligan which is very important as well. And then we'll have a few games here so you can visually see how it kind of plays out. Very tricky deck to talk about. But I guess first of all we want to talk about the fact that we are running Jinx and we want to running Draven. Now these are like... They're kind of build around cards without being build around cards. Jinx kind of makes a lot of sense because it is kind of like a win condition. However, Draven just complements the rest of the strategy. I also want to talk about the fact that we are running three Augmented Experimenters too. Some other lists aren't, some other lists are not even using it at all. I think for this deck to work the best, there needs to be heavy amounts of discard and card draw. Hence why we are running three Augmented Experimenters to increase the amount of consistency for a deck that already is not that consistent. This will also help you to level up Jinx in a snap. So three Augmented Experimenters, three Jinx, uh, three Visions goes along well with this list. Uh, Sump Dredger is proving to be probably an uh, auto include for discarding now. It is extremely powerful and not to be overlooked. Uh, three Get Excited, three Draven, uh, three Mystic Shot which is like auto include for a lot of PNZ lists now. Two Flame Chompers. So this one's going to actually include Arena Bookie for the same point where I talked about Augmented Experimenter. I think Arena Bookie is actually pretty good in this deck. Um, in a pinch, you can discard some low cost value cards in your hand. A lot of times it may get removed, but as I said, I want to go for extreme consistency. I want to be able to discard and draw as fast as possible because that's how you keep the gas going and it can help you beat up on control decks. I think Arena Bookie makes a great fit in the end. Uh, three Zornite Urchins will be a, definitely a great inclusion for this list. Three Rummage, three Drury Rig. Astute Academic is great for being able to buff this quite easily, and if they can't deal with it, it's a lot of damage getting pushed to face. And one unique Thermo Beam for the off chance does something amazing. That wraps up the list. Um, in terms of like the synergy, it's all about the discarding cards, right? Discarding, drawing, playing a wide board, and pushing face damage. Now there's some other variants that are more focused on the burn strategy. They run Decimate and Noxia Ferber. I'm going to argue that I think this is probably the best list right now. This is the one that I've been finding the most effective. The board based focus is the way to go for discarding strategy. Now let's talk about the mulligan. I think this is going to be the most tricky part. So I'm going to go into detail the best I can and show you guys the way. So first of all, for the mulligan, I think it's actually quite important that you keep some form of uh, discarding or drawing cards in the opening hand. You literally don't want to stop the gas going. So when I say that, cards like Sump Dredger are actually a considerable keep in the opening hand. Of, cur of course, a curve is nice and having discard fodder makes a lot of sense. But even without the fodder in Flame Chompers or Drew Rig, consider keeping Zor Knight still. Consider, like, always keep Zor Knight. But, you know, consider keeping Arena Bookie. Consider keeping Sump Dredger a lot. Uh, even if you haven't got cheaper units, you can always try and, like, mulligan for them. Like, draw into them. I don't think you'll need to keep Jinx. Most of the time, I don't think you need to keep Augment to experiment most of the time. In the end, still look for a curve. Cards like Zornite in the opening hand, alongside Jury Rig and like Rummage. All these like cheap uh, cheap cards are great. You can always choose to keep Astute Academic. It should be useful most of the time. In the end, as I've explained with most Mulligan guides, looking for a curve is kind of relevant. But in this list, maybe not so much. Maybe you can have an expensive hand where you kick the rest of the cards like Vision, Jinx, Augment to experiment with some treasure. Kick everything else, keep the Sump Dredger though. This is going to be a great card most of the time for providing a big body and trading into big mid-range units. I don't think you'll have many reasons for keeping Get Excited in the opening hand. Unless you see an opportunity where you might be able to curve out with Jinx in hand if you've like got a good opening hand. And then Get Excited could be used to kind of speed up the process of Jinx. Most of the time Jinx doesn't need to be a super fast win con. But if you see an opportunity where the opening hand looks like it could empty your hand pretty quickly then keeping Jinx might be an okay option. But the best opening hands you're going to be looking for is Zornite Urchin, the Curve into Draven, especially on odds, you can consider keeping this. And then Astro Academics can be a great opening card. Outside of that, um, like, keeping Flame Chompers is a reasonable keep a lot of the time too. Mostly if you already have some discard fodder. I'll find myself oftentimes keeping Flame Chompers in the opening hand. Just as a way to discard something guaranteed that gets put onto the board. 
And sometimes on turn one, you can use your knight with flame trumpers to kind of push damage if you're going uh, offensive, attacking odds. Uh, I mean, outside of that, I don't think you'll need to keep thermo beam ever. I do not think you'll need to keep Mystic Shot actually as often ever, unless you're versing a deck where it hits a really good target. If you know they're going to play someone with two HP. Um, outside of that, probably don't keep Vision ever as well, as I said. So that should wrap up the Mulligan Guide. We are going to actually have a few games here. As I said, I think it's quite worthwhile for these games because you will see different matchups and how it all plays out. And a lot of the time it might come down to a very snap top deck or like playing for a certain out and you have to make that call at a certain point in the game. You guys have a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Don't forget to leave a like. Bye bye. No, you hovered over the second bookie. Augmented. Oh no, augmented. No, augmented can only hit units. Okay, I get you now. I get you. I get you. Good. Yeah, Augmented Experimenter can only hit units, guys. So in terms of the Mulligan, I'm not sure if you're ever supposed to, like maybe, perhaps you're supposed to keep card draw in the opening hand. So you never run out of gas. Like maybe you need cards like Rummage always. We definitely don't want to discard these Astute Academics. They're pretty cool. Do you guys think this guy is going to be playing Avalanche? I can push a lot of damage if he's removals Avalanche. Actually, watch this. This is pretty crazy. We just don't develop this turn. Oh my god. God, if he if he's trying to play with me Avalanche against me, I've just outplayed him. Holy shit! Jesus Christ, man. I could have gone even further all in on this play, but I didn't want to take the risk that his like removal was Avalanche. Dude, I think that just that almost wins you the game. What the fuck was that, man? Holy shit. He's looking hard for Avalanche now. It was good then. I should play either Draven or Jinx. I'm not I'm not emptying out my hand quick enough, so perhaps Draven is just fine. Hey, Lucas Bendelin. Hey, good luck. Thank you so much. Everyone's a mm. Okay, this might help him out a lot. But he doesn't get the craziest trades. And he's going to lose these two units. So he double trades into these guys, right? This feels a bit Pepega that he would do this. So I guess I'll do this. I'm happy to trade off Draven here. He's probably not an Avalanche deck. If he's playing Blighted Caretaker, he is most likely not going to be an Avalanche deck. I would be shocked if he is. I get punished from developing if he has another Blighted Caretaker. Don't you have lethal now? If I open an attack, technically I do. Undying cannot block though, so Undying is not much of an issue. It's the consideration of... um. He doesn't even give me a chance to make a misplay. Thank you so much. That's the thing about surrendering on the spot, which I do quite often. Dude, that one attack that we got was probably the reason why we won the game. Big, big dab. I wonder if I ever consider keeping Augmented Experimenter into the opening hand. Probably not. For that victory, nice. Homie, of course. Darn it. That's okay. Oh, all good. We hit it. We hit it, guys. We have a very, uh, big lack of card draw on the opening hand. But with the three copies of Augmented Experimenter, 
I suppose we can be less lenient. Oh, wow. I'm going to play Draven here. We should be pushing damage, so doing something like this should be okay. Discard fodder, excellent. Perhaps if he plays uh, Ash here, I will consider to get excited onto the Ash. If he does something like this, then probably not the case. Oh wow. Okay, if he brittle steals this, then I'll just go all in on the jinx and the burn strategy. Rules are made to be broken. Like buildings for people. You should it might it might be hard for him to develop here in case he wants to keep back some cards. I don't like that he keeps getting these un enraged yetis. That is a little bit annoying. To say the very least. I'm just going to go for the burn strategy at this point with the hand that I have in hopes that maybe he does not have Reckoning. Okay, if he has Reckoning, I think I'm pooped. He, he loses his units here though, so maybe it's not too bad. I will pass for now. Reckoning is all of his mana, so I'll be able to clear the Jinx if he goes for that. Sorry, clear the um Ash. I will lose this burn in my current hand though. So depending on what he does, uh, obviously if he does Reckoning, I'll have to play Augmented Experimenter. If he does not go for Reckoning, I can consider, or I probably still just play Augmented Experimenter. Line up. Okay. A little bit unexpected. This is a tough call to make, guys. I could level up my Jinx. I think I just go for the Augmented Experimenter here. He cannot clear my Jinx, and hopefully I can find some more gas and then empty my hand out next turn. Do you think Yeti should be a 4-4 fake hero? I think it's pretty oppressive when you hit it, for sure. It's a very strong card, when you really think about it. I'm not sure if it's too powerful right now. But we will see. A rummage is pretty crazy. Jinx rummage, okay. Alright, I see the line here. So we're not going to be connecting any more face damage for sure. So I'm actually going to choose to hit the Draven here. Just to get the spinning axe as more discard fodder. Perhaps I block here. I think this is fine. So I don't get the spinning axe, but that's okay. Okay, how the hell do I do this? So this is this is the correct order to do things first. We definitely want to use this get excited to go face. I might not have enough damage actually, so we may be losing this game. Unless I find my other Jinx here, then we probably just win. Oh my god. Unless he has a healing unit. Which makes me wonder if I should have played the Super Mega Death Rocket first. Wow. What the hell? Okay, maybe this deck's okay. <laughs> If you draw like a fucking pro, that's right, got us one if you draw like a pro. That is pretty interesting. I think the three augmented experimenters is really proving to be um, quite effective. 
That one is for you two? Okay then. Bookie is so double-edged, yeah. They are doubt. One drops, like how important are realistically one drops? They might not be as important as I think. Like this looks like a pretty good, I guess I kicked the get excited. I should keep the Draven. Maybe bookies for when you have Jinx on the field? It could be. I'm going to pass here. It's a little bit annoying. I guess I'll still pass. <clears throat> that does make the guide more speciality since it's a hard deck to pilot, so in my opinion, it's worth the time. <laughs> Dean Arena! Out of nowhere, coming in, dropping a three-month subscription. Holy shit, dude. I thought you'd moved on from this. Thank you so much, man. It means a lot. It means a lot because, like, you would do that, but... Like, it's out of nowhere. <laughs> time for the main Homie. Event. Holy shit, how are you? Long time. Guts, golden glory. That's a bit unfortunate. At least I'm on the attacking token. Oh, there we go. I worked it out. <laughs> Wait, I fucked that up. Yeah, but I couldn't play the Flame Trumpets unless I discarded it. So I had to do it this way. Unless he has another Joel Hunters. I'll survive. I'll get over it. I stopped playing like right after first balance patch since Rising Tides. Plunder was still taking the top of the deck. Yeah, Plunder's not as much of a meta breaker anymore. They kind of like nerfed it a little bit. But it's still like uh, build world decks are still pretty viable in like that control aspect. Time for the money makers. Axes coming right up. Perhaps we're just chilling in hopes that he doesn't have another grasp of the undying. It's still really good. Tempo now, free old can actually play it versus it. Uh, yeah, Asha Giovanni is a pretty good deck right now. I wonder if I should have buffed up the Draven a little bit more here. That's okay. I can spend most of the mana next turn. Yeah, we're fine. We've got a bit of a power play next turn. I'm going to lose a Mystic Shot, so perhaps playing this last turn might have been a good idea. We will survive. Unless I feel like a double Mystic Shot is a worthwhile play. I don't think so. I'll wait till he attacks before I Mystic Shot. Strictly because of, um, strictly because of what would be a Mist Call. So the ordering kind of like, I'm pretty sure if I play Augment to Experimenter, this should come down first, and Vision should buff the entire board, if I'm not mistaken. I think that... Yeah, this comes down, then Vision. Okay. Hmm. How much do I play around Ruination? But then get fucked over by Ruination. Nah, that's fine, we're chilling. This is pretty chill. Sure thing. Let us draw some cards. Ah, uh, well, and that's gonna be splendid for dealing with this without it getting any life steal. Pretty sure we just go all in here. Wait, when Draven used his Blade's Edge to buff, the whole team had increased damage. Like the spinning axe. Okay, let's just do this. I'll stop him the healing. I do this. He maybe has like grasp of the undying or something. 
and can clear the augmented experimenter but at least he's not like using a vengeance to clear the draven if that makes sense we can just pass here the spinning axe should not buff the entire board unless they played vision from the hand though is that like maybe what you missed because sometimes if they discard vision from the hand it buffs the entire board so when vision is ca uh, cast or discarded grant all allies plus one is that maybe not what could have happened okay Wait, is this- uh oh. This might discard- I think I might have fucked up here. Is that going to discard <laughs> the vision? Uh oh. I think I might have fucked up. That's okay. We'll just discard it now. <laughs> I don't want to take the chance. Maybe I misplay playing the arena bookie. No problem. We'll swing with the Draven last. Uh oh. Uh, not quite GG. He heals up a little bit. Fortunate. We can find some lethal here though. I like this three copies of Augmented Experimenter. Makes this deck feel very, very much like a little gas. Like all we're gonna do is find some poo poo. This gives me a chance of finding Mystic Shock. Done it. Bro. Can't you hit face with that? I could have hit face. I will tend this garden. Okay, that's lethal. Yo, Bob, what up? Okay. Three augmented experimenters might be the way to go for this deck. Easy tip. Your face with what though? The Draven. Hi. <laughs> is this is the deck the code for as harrowing if you want to look at it? Sure thing. Yo, what is up, Shark? What is up, man? I'm still going to keep the Draven. Doing great, man. My man. Finish playing Detroit Become Human? Hell yeah, dude. You got a remote, remote back? He can't hear you? Ah. Oh. There you go, man. Callisto and Quinn. I'm just going to copy every emote he does. I've been putting in work with my spicy off meta list. Okay. Okay. Why is this guy fucking go away, man? Okay, you've had your fun. He is going to buff and drag something. If I pass, he probably would just end the turn. Would he? That would be pretty silly. Nope. Fizz Draven. It's broken. Okay. Is he really willing to trade down my board? This is a important decision to make. Do I think... I think trading off the arena bookies probably just makes a lot of sense, actually. I don't think I want to discard anything in my hand. Oh, tried Fizz Draven before, last reset. Couldn't make it good enough. A lot of axes to go elusive with. Most definitely. I climbed like 300 LP with it today. Holy shit, dude. Wait, keep it on the download, dude. Hook me up. <laughs> I think it's time to play Draven. Do not expose its tier zero. Anything else? 
Hopefully, no single combat here. Is this a problem? Am I making a mistake here? I don't think I am. Like, I need to be aggressive. Uh, okay. At least I get the spinning axe here. Not too bad. Dice knows what's up, Lamau. I would love to see it. Okay, so I think I am going to be probably just playing Stomp Dredger and Arena Bookie this turn and tanking a lot of damage. I could probably use the Dury Rig to trade off into the Grizzled Ranger and if he would if he would buff it then I would just I'll skip the block first. Callista and Quinn. There it is guys. That's plus 300 LP, dude. How I'm gonna play this first of all. He makes this very difficult for me to figure out. Darn it. I don't think I'll have time to use the Thermo Beam to clear a unit. With me. You know, I... <laughs> uh, oh my god. So I'm pretty sure Arena Bookie should discard the far left card. Okay. Fake here. It was originally going to stream Law this week, but encouraged by my chat to play Zelda Breath of the Wild. Bookie is such an arsehole. He discarded the Draven, so it's the far right card. I thought it may have been the far left. Jesus fucking... Uh. Do I continue to fight for the board? In hopes that he does not have Ranger's Resolve? This this might be the way. This has to be the way. I can't just send all this damage face. I will probably lose next turn. Okay. We actually have... Hang on, our board, our board is pretty strong. Our board is reasonably strong. Dude, that's a pretty good trade for me. If you don't have Rangers Resolve, I guess he wants to play aggressive though. This is fine. If he plays Rangers Resolve now, that is going to be very strange. Vulnerable only matters if they live to attack. Okay, fair enough. I'm definitely going to open attack next turn. Hopefully no one drop here. Okay. He probably has another Quinn in hand, right? Perhaps not. What are these cards? And why would you not play them this turn? Rally? He must be playing Rally. Ooh. Ooh! Come on! Come on. He has two Rally cards in hand, I think. Or something. And he does top deck Rangers Resolve. I think his hand might be poo poo. Let's go. That's a huge amount of card draw. It's Rally for sure in his hand. Or Ruination. He's not playing Ruination. Unfortunately, I cannot empty out my hand. I'm not going to swing with Jinx. Does that deck run Ruination? Most likely not. Most likely not. Quinn is hard to level up because 9% of scout units are under 5 cost. You think if scout units costed more, that would help? Not being able to fling Jinx here, flip Jinx, is a bit disappointing. Is he going? Denial, pain, anger, depression. <laughs> Yo. He's deciding whether or not he thinks he can afford to... These woods belong to us. The 
fuck is happening, dude? Dude, I muted this guy like 20 minutes ago. He is... <laughs> what do you mean, buddy? Oh, hold up. Let's just fucking see what he's doing. Monka S, Monka S, Monka S, Monka S, dude. Take that, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I thought he had two rallies in hand. I fucking knew he had two rallies in hand. <laughs> dude, this guy, dude, he's bringing out the worst of me. <laughs> dude, imagine having double, rally, double rallies in hand. Holy shit. Because he didn't play anything when he had 10 mana. I'm like, he must have spells in hand. And... Dude, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh uh, shit. Okay. Discard Jinx. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. You're gonna hate yourself when you first Shadow Wilds, but. Cool! Arena Bookie, okay? It's okay. I can see why you would run like three Arena Bookie, three Augmented Experimenter, and three Visions. Complete discard. I think that might just be the best way to build it. Like, I would imagine for... You would just want maximum amount of discard synergy and just complete and utter just chaos. 